Well, hey guys, it's June, which means it's all things Acne Awareness Month. And for today's video, let's revisit the topic of at-home LED therapy for acne. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Omnilox. Let's not underestimate the toll having acne can take on one's emotional health. It's a very frustrating condition to cope with. Now on my channel, I have a lot of different acne videos talking about different acne treatments. There are many fantastic at-home treatment options for mild and moderate acne. And one of them, which I often recommend, is LED therapy at home, otherwise known as photobiomodulation. That is a fancy term, but what exactly does it mean? Photobiomodulation involves delivery of specific wavelengths of light, visible light, or near-infrared. These are absorbed by targets in the skin to elicit a cascade of events that results in things like an improvement in circulation, a reduction in inflammation, as well as an improvement in collagen production. But some specific wavelengths of light for acne can be particularly effective for targeting the root cause issues that lead to breakouts in the first place. So let's revisit why exactly acne happens in the first place. It's a combination of of a few different factors. First is the cells lining the pore are a bit inefficient in their maturation and turnover processes. As a result, you get a plug or a comedone. You also have the issue of an increased production of sebum into the pore. Sebum is basically oil, and some people make more sebum compared to others just as part of their genetics. Also, our hormones influence sebum production, and changes in hormones can lead to oilier skin and more acne breakouts. Certain medications may also influence this. But the third part of acne that definitely bears attention is the role of the acne cause bacteria, Cutibacterium acne. Now, for people with acne, they have some dysbiosis going on down in the pore that leads to overrepresentation of certain strains of Cutibacterium acnes, which are problematic because they break down the sebum, which is already increased by nature of well acne, and as a result, release inflammatory mediators into the skin that lead to acne as well. So a big part of acne is not just the bacteria, but the inflammation. You also have some other things that bear addressing when it comes to taking care of the skin of acne, and that is secondary changes, not just the pimples that are coming to the skin surface, not just the blackheads, the whiteheads, but the surface changes that can result from the inflammation. And that includes hyperpigmentation, as well as dry skin. Ironically, most people with acne have oily skin and they assume, oh, I have oily skin, so I must not be prone to dryness. And it's actually oftentimes the opposite. And as the skin becomes dry, it becomes more vulnerable to irritation, inflammation, and that can not only aggravate the acne, but limit one's ability to tolerate certain topical treatments. Furthermore, you also have redness. For a lot of pa patients, that inflammation leads to obvious skin redness. There are several advantages to photobiomodulation with LEDs, whether it be in office or from the comfort of your own home. First of all, it's non-invasive. It's something that you can do just sitting around watching TV even. Convenient. You can do it on your own time. It's versatile, meaning it can be used to treat a variety of different things. And we'll specifically get into what attributes are useful for acne. It's also non-thermal, meaning it doesn't heat up the skin. So you don't have that concern of heating up the skin to the point of skin injury. Photobiomodulation using LEDs can also be used in combination with other established treatments. How exactly does photobiomodulation with LEDs work for acne? Well, it's unique in that it takes advantage of blue light. Blue light is part of the visible light spectrum. And blue light actually targets the acne-causing bacteria, Cutibacterium acnes. Cutibacterium acnes lives down in the pore and a byproduct of its metabolism is something called porphyrin. Porphyrin will absorb the wavelengths of blue light it is a target of that blue light and 
the downstream effect is destruction of the acne causing bacteria that would otherwise break down your oil and generate a lot of inflammation and more acne. Blue light is also anti-inflammatory. In addition to blue light though, red light can also be particularly useful for acne. It has been demonstrated to help in reducing sebum output. Red light therapy has also been shown to reduce keratosis of the follicles, so the plugging aspect of things. Another important attribute of red light uh, phototherapy is that it can reduce what's called TUL or transepidermal water loss, improving moisture content of the skin, reducing the tendency towards dryness and irritation. Red light therapy is also anti-inflammatory, which can be particularly of benefit for acne and inflammatory skin condition, not only for the acne itself, but for the sequela of hyperpigmentation or redness. So utilizing blue and red wavelengths of light for photobiomodulation for acne, not only addresses the root causes of acne, the bacteria, the pore plugging, and the increase in sebum, um, but it also is addressing some of the secondary changes that, let's face it, can be just as impactful on an individual as the primary skin problem was to begin with. That includes dry skin, as well as redness, and possibly hyperpigmentation, all through reducing that inflammation and improving what's called transepidermal water loss. The Omnilux Clear device is a LED device that uses a combination of red and blue light, again, specifically for for the treatment of acne. Within the mask, there are 132 LEDs. There are actually 66 bulbs, but each bulb is a dual chip bulb for two LEDs, one red and one blue. The wavelengths of light used in the mask are evidence-based and have been backed by clinical trials and include the 633 nanometer wavelength for the red light and 415 nanometer wavelength for the blue light. Here's how to use the Omnilux Clear device. You wanna start with a clean, bare face. So you don't wanna have any products on your skin that could potentially just lessen the uh, extent of penetration of the light into the skin. You do the mask for 10 10 minutes, that's all it takes, four times a week for the first six weeks. Thereafter, you use the mask at the first signs of a breakout. Why do I recommend Omnilux when there are so many devices on the market? Not all devices are created equal. The reason I recommend Omnilux is their reputation. Frankly, Omnilux trademark technology has been used in the industry for over 20 years, backed by clinical research, over 40 peer-reviewed published papers with Omnilux technology, the same technology that is used in the masks that you can use at home. Another point I want to make is that Omnilux Clear is actually the only flexible home use LED mask that has passed FDA, TGA, and CE regulations for treating acne. We use an Omnilux device to treat patients in office. How does a clinical device differ from the Omnilux Clear mask? Ask. Well, if you pursue a treatment in office, you're going to get the red light treatment and the blue light treatment separately. Whereas when you do the Omnilux clear mask at home, the bulbs have both red and blue light in them. So you get both treatments at once, cutting down on the time, making this very convenient to do at home. How long does it take to see results with the Omnilux Clear? That really varies from person to person, but within a few weeks, you can start to appreciate clearing up of existing breakouts, and with continued use as directed, it can help prevent future breakouts. One question I get the most is, will at-home LED therapy help with hormonal acne? That's a great question. Hormonal acne, as y'all know, is notoriously stubborn to treat. It's called hormonal acne because the main driver is the hormones uh, that signal to the oil gland to make more oil. Now, to be clear, all types of acne, hormones are signaling to the oil gland to make more oil, but hormonal acne, when people say hormonal acne, that's like a big driving factor, so much so that a lot of treatments are just not super effective for that type subtype of acne. Um, the Omnilux Clear device can be effective for that type of acne. It's not necessarily going to address the hormonal component per se, but via its anti-inflammatory and cutie bacterium targeting effects, it can benefit hormonal acne when used as directed. The other question
question I get is, will the Omnilux Clear be helpful for scarring? It's possible it will help in reducing the risk that acne heals with a scar via its anti-inflammatory effects. However, the Omnilux Clear is not intended to treat existing scars. Now, like I said, there are a lot of devices on the market. So what exactly is the difference between this device and a device like the Omnilux Contour or the Omnilux Men's device? Well, in contrast to those devices, this device uses blue light, which is specific for treating acne, whereas those devices use a combination of red and near-infrared wavelengths for the purposes of photo rejuvenation for anti-aging purposes, right? To stimulate collagen, to smooth out wrinkles, to improve hydration, to reduce inflammation, to improve skin surface tone. The Omnilux Clear, on the other hand, uses a combination of blue and red LEDs to specifically target the issues related to acne, cutie bacterium acne, um, the inflammation, the increased oiliness, to a certain extent the pore plugging effect, as well as also an anti-inflammatory effect that's going to help with a lot of the secondary changes that happen with acne. So if you are seeking a device for just improving skin tone and improving the appearance of wrinkles, the Omnilux Clear is not for you. The Omnilux Clear is meant for individuals with mild to moderate acne. The other difference you'll notice is that the Omnilux Clear has these little built-in eye shields. Now, to be clear, no pun intended, both the Omnilux Clear as well as their other devices have been tested to be perfectly safe for the eyes when used as directed, as a mask, without actually needing eye shields or anything of that sort. However, some people are very sensitive to blue light with their eyes, so as an added precaution, they went ahead for this mask, they went ahead and put in those extra little eye shields. So that is another slight difference. As a dermatologist, in my opinion, the Omnilux Clear is an excellent option for at-home treatment of mild to moderate acne. It's flexible, it's easy to use, it's convenient. You can do it on your own, in the privacy of your own home. It's easy to travel with. It's portable, you can walk around with it. You can get your morning started in your kitchen and by the time you're done making your coffee, you have already finished it. So it's really easy to stick with. And as I've said in other videos, devices are only as good as you are at staying consistent and using them. So if a device is too cumbersome to use, it's too awkward, um, it's not easy to fit into your routine, you're not gonna use it. That's why I, one, one of the other reasons why I like the Omnilux clear is just the way it is engineered to be easy to use at home, not to mention their reputation. They are leaders in the field of photobiomodulation. They have over 20 years of experience. Their technology is what we use in the clinics to treat patients. All right, y'all. So that's about everything I wanted to say with regards to the use of photobiomodulation for acne specifically. Um, check the description box if you are interested in the Omnilux Clear device. I have a link down there. Also, let me know in the comments, what other questions do you guys have? Because this is an area where there's just a lot to know about. I mean, there's so much development and excitement in the realm of photobiomodulation. Like I said, it's versatile, it's flexible. So let me know in the comments what additional questions you guys have. And maybe in the future, I'll make an additional video on this topic because there's really so much to say. I feel like we've barely even scratched the surface here. Anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this one. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.